Hey friends, I think my van is finally fixed. So I'm pretty excited. I think the van is finally fixed for good. So I wanted to give a little update because I know a lot of you guys have been asking and I sure do appreciate that. So the problem with this has always been I couldn't get it to not start in front of a mechanic. So there was always a lot of guessing going on. Well, this time it actually wouldn't start when it came off the tow truck. In fact, I just, because it always has, I had it, had them drop my van off at my house, go out to get in it, and it still wouldn't start. I was shocked, and it had to have it actually towed to the mechanic. So he was able to diagnose it pretty quickly. Um, I asked him if they could just bypass the security system because I really thought that that was the problem. At first he said, sure, no problem. But then whenever he got into it a little bit more, he said, with this specific setup, that no, he cannot bypass it. So the problem is there is a passcode reader and some passcode sensors, and they all work together with the main computer. So yeah, if they're not all working, then it doesn't work at all. So I think before, whenever I was broke down in Mississippi, they replaced the sensors. Now he replaced the reader. Anyway, it's all been replaced and it is running great. The security light has not come back on. I'm really excited about that. So I am out camping this weekend with some friends of mine. And um, yeah, I'm super stoked. I think my van's going to be okay. Yay. So I just came out here to Cedar Hill State Park this weekend. It's close to home. And that way if something did happen with the van, it's not such a hassle to get back to where it needs to be. All seems well though. It is starting perfectly and I'm so happy. I slept great last night in that van. I can't tell you how much I love that thing. So anyway, all is well. I am happy. And then this morning I got up and uh, was sitting in there with my heater, staying nice and warm. And Blind Views had a morning chat, so I got on that for a little while. And then Unibasis sent me something. It's so awesome. Stay tuned to the end to find out what that is. So I also wanted to show you guys something. A lot of people have mentioned that I haven't really shown my stick that Bill made very well. And so I wanted to show you that now. So like I said, this is his third stick that he's ever made. Um, he took up this hobby when he retired and he's really having a lot of fun with it. And I am the very proud owner of this Lollapalooza stick. So cool. You see that okay? Look at the detail. And then down here it says, stay lost my friends. In the back it's got this little tree and his initials. Bill Swanson, 2018. So he said he made this little knot into kind of a campfire. <laughs> I think that's just so perfect. I love it so much. And I can't believe how much easier it makes hiking. Even put the little rubber stopper on the bottom. Yeah. Thanks again, Bill. That was so nice of you. This is so awesome. I just want to thank all of you guys for being so awesome. I really appreciate it. I appreciate the comments that you leave me. I appreciate the friendships that we've formed. This is an awesome thing, this YouTube thing. to a rangers program. I'm not sure what it's technically called, but we're calling it the dead stuff program. So you excited about it? I am so excited. I love dead stuff. Alright, let's go see what kind of dead stuff they have. Okay. Yeah, these are real animal pelts. Anyone have a guess as to what this is? Bear. Is that the tail? This is, this the, is tail. the tail. Yeah. Okay. Beaver. It's a beaver. Good. Yeah, good job. And then this one? Squirrel. Hey, look at this stomach. Oh, no. That'd be a real bobcat. big squirrel. It's a bobcat. Good job. Yeah. It looks like my, like my cat's stomach. Squirrel. A squirrel? Uh, squirrel. Fox. 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 Yeah. What about this one? Um, raccoon? Yes. Oh. All right. Cool. <laughs> Anyone know what this one is? Um, Turtle. 
Nope. <laughs> <laughs> so close. Uh, oh, that's oh, a possum. It's a possum. Good job. I want to know what this is. So this is just a venomous snake skeleton. Whoa. Oh, okay. I didn't know they have skeletons. Yeah. We all do, right? Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. And then this is a rattlesnake skull. Yep, this is a rattlesnake. And then this year, oh, this is the bunny. This is the softest one. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yes. These are cool too. Oh yeah. Yep. So this is a woodpecker and this is a barred owl. Yeah, we oh, usually wow. we usually hide, hide the wow. face a little bit, especially yeah. for well, we see your kids. snakes. That, that can kind of scare them a little bit if they're not ready for it. Yeah. What are these? <laughs> um, what about them? Like, will we see them? Oh, um, it's possible that you could see one sunbathing, but it's probably unlikely since you guys are in such a big group. The snakes are gonna hear you coming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What, what are these from? Yeah, so these are talons from birds of yeah, prey. Yeah, you can kind of see this is an So this is a harpy there. eagle, a golden eagle, a bald eagle, um, and then this is a red-tailed hawk, a falcon, and then these are all owls. This is a full-grown one. It's just a smaller. Yes. Very cool. Thank you for showing that. Yeah, no problem. So this one's the bald eagle. Yeah, so I'm watching Blind Bees live right now, and Unibasis just sent me something so cool. <laughs> I'm gonna show, share it with you real quick. Oh, we were just talking about uh, New Year's Eve, what everybody does. All right, Blind Bees, I gotta every, most of the people pass you up for just a minute. Isn't that awesome? I love it so much.